All right, so here in the Google Classroom for School of Rock, the Tutorials and Files assignment has everything you need in it, all the details, all the material that you're going to need. It's all right here. And there are logos, and there's also how-to videos, which we will go through starting next class. We will start going through all these. And there is the sign-up sheet, and right here is the link that would take you to our class website that has all of the actual details that you need to put on the poster that you signed up for. So that's all there in the Google Classroom. And then to actually start your document, you are going to come here to Illustrator. You're going to say Create New. And when you get this pop-up window, first just click Print at the top. I found that that kind of changes what your options are over here on the right hand side. And then you want to set it up. So your preset details are, you're going to name it, your last name, I'll say it like this, say last name, first name, and um, School of Rock, and then put the name of whatever it is that you're doing. So like if you're doing Green Day, AP, like that, so that we know which one is what. Then of course you're going to change your units here to inches, and you want this to be an 11 by 17 document. You can go vertical or horizontal, it's up to you. Although I would say if you can try to stay vertical because they do seem to pick the vertical more often. <laughs> uh, vertical, one artboard is all you need unless you want to try multiple versions on one sheet, but you are going to need to narrow it down to one in the long run. So I'd say one artboard is all you need. Um, we do not necessarily need to set up a bleed right now, so I'm just going to leave that at zero. Your color mode needs to be CMYK in order for you to give it to them, but I do warn you that if you put it at CMYK, you are not going to be able to put a filter on your project if you want to do some sort of filter texture. So if you do plan on doing a filter texture, uh, using the actual filter effects in the program, then you could start out with RGB and then turn it into CMYK later, although your colors will dim down, dull down a little bit with CMYK. Uh, but I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to set it RGB to start and show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, and then raster effects, I'd say keep it at 300 uh, as long as your computer is capable of handling that. It's, it's going to give your... Uh, just more detail in your piece. Um, preview mode default is fine. Um, if you click more settings here, you can pretty much just check to make sure everything looks right and say create document. Then here's what you should have. It's a big it's like a skinny rectangle. That's the look of the 11 by 17. This is what I'm talking about though. Right now, if you were to go up to effects right here and use one of these effects, with a Photoshop effect gallery or any of these here, if you were going to use an effect, uh, my window popped up in the wrong place here, but it's in front of me. Any of these kind of things here with your piece, you're going to need to be in CMY, I'm sorry, in RGB mode. And then when you're done doing an effect, then you can go back up here and you can go to file document color mode and change it back to CMYK once you're done applying that filter. And it will probably give you a pop-up window that says you have applied a filter. Are you sure you want to do this? It's going to change your colors a little bit. And you say yes. And you can put it back. Before you submit it, make sure that it's back into CMYK mode so that that way when they go to print it, uh, all your colors look pretty accurate. Last tip on this. Make sure that your colors, I would say, do not, maybe go like one shade lighter than you initially thought you would want, because when you do print these posters, if the colors are too dark right next to each other, sometimes you cannot differentiate them when it comes to the printer quality. It sometimes gets them kind of, they blend into each other. So make sure that those colors are not too dark when you go to uh, have your final piece. Uh, you know, think of it like when you're painting your room. You always go a, light, a shade lighter because once the whole thing is painted, it actually looks a shade darker. So uh, do that and you should be good. All right, I'm going to stop there.